Ruby, and today I am at Main Street Station because it's time to try a new buffet. We are here at Garden Court. It just recently reopened. They are open daily for breakfast from 8 to 2, $18.99 a person. They also have dinners on Fridays and Saturdays, 4 to 9. That's going to be $25. We're here today for brunch, though. Super excited to give it a shot. Before we get started, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. I'm doing all kinds of Vegas buffet reviews for you guys. Let's go eat. Just got seated. This is such a beautiful buffet. So after tax and everything, it did end up being about $20 per person. A server came up right away and got us some orange juice and some coffee. The coffee's really good. We got seated immediately. It is like 20 minutes after they open, so it's nice and early, which means it's time to start with some breakfast. Let's do some scrambled eggs. Portuguese sausage and sausage patties. Let's try those. Ooh, patata. We'll get one of those. And hash brown. Let's get one of those. We need some bacon. Ooh, crunchy. So an apple cinnamon crepe. Ooh. Ooh, they have corned beef hash over here. I think I'd switch these in the, let's put that in the middle there. Pancakes and French toast, don't mind if I do. Let's get a pancake. Let's get some French toast. Ooh, this piece looks delicious. There we go, that's why I made a sweet plate. Okay, just got back from the breakfast section. Let me show you all what we got. Okay, scrambled eggs, corned beef hash, they have brick sausage patties, Portuguese sausage, bacon, hash browns, and a frittata. This looks like it has sausage as well. And then on our sweet plate, we've got a apple crepe, a blueberry blintz, some uh, French toast, and a pancake, and a bunch of syrup. So I'm gonna start with the savory food first. Let's start with our scrambled eggs. I'm gonna put a little salt pepper in. Let's see how they are. Mm. Yummy. They're creamy. They're really creamy. Mm. You can taste butter. The scrambled eggs are good. Let's try this frittata and see what's better. If we like the egg or the frittata better. Oh, and yep, it does look like there's some like crumbled sausage inside the frittata. So I prefer the texture of the scrambled eggs over the frittata. It has that baked egg texture, so it's a little more chewy. I just like the creaminess of the scrambled eggs a little better. I wanna try the corned beef hash. This looks really good. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, the corned beef hash is really delicious. I think you guys will really like this if you try it. So seasoned, such good flavor. Mmm. Okay, Portuguese sausage. Give this a shot. This looks really interesting and delicious. At first I thought they were like little mini tomatoes. Very delicious. Great flavor. There's like, you can see the char and the brown on it. They did a really good job with that sausage. It tastes really delicious, it's got good flavor. I'm not a huge fan of breakfast sausage normally. I like that Portuguese sausage because it tastes more savory, less of like a breakfast sausage. That's really delicious. That and the corned beef hash so far. Very good. Let's try the, like just the regular sausage patty. More of a typical breakfast sausage. So for those of you who are like, no, I just love my breakfast sausage. That's how that tastes. So far the breakfast meats are all super good. Let's try the bacon. The bacon's really crispy. Mmm. -hmm. Super crunchy, but you can still taste the grease. They're killing it in the breakfast meat department, I will say. Very delicious. I wanna try this little hash brown. These look like the McDonald's hash browns. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. That's good too. It's nothing amazing. The eggs and the hash brown are like, okay, but like this corned beef hash is delicious. I could eat a whole plate of this. And all the breakfast meats are awesome. And breakfast meat isn't usually even my favorite thing. So they're doing a really good job. We gotta try our savories. 
Let's try the French toast. The French toast looks so delicious. It looks homemade, looks really good. Mm. I love French toast. French toast is one of my favorite, favorite breakfast foods. And that French toast is delicious. I can taste the egg and the vanilla. Wow, yum, yum, yum. Let's try the pancake. Fluffy, buttery, delicious. I'm happy right now, guys. I'm a happy camper. This is really good so far. Let's try this blintz. Ooh, I've had a, a lot of blintzes at like the MGM buffets and the cheese is always kind of crumbly. This is actually like creamy. This might be better than the blintzes you can get at the typical buffets. Let's give it a shot. That is a proper cheese blintz. The cream cheese inside is sweetened. You can taste the powdered sugar. The blueberry topping is really flavorful. Okay, Main Street, I see you. I see what you're doing here. Let's try this crepe. Apple crepe. I did get maple syrup all over it, but let's give it a shot. Everything on this plate was freaking delicious. Like, so good. <laughs> I'm really happy, and I think I'm getting a sugar high. Ooh, okay, chicken fried steak looks amazing. Get a little patty. They also have pork chops. Ooh, look at that. Mac and cheese. Just a little bit. Oh, that looks really good. Um, should we get some carving meats? You want any ham, ham and turkey, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow, okay. Kahlua pork with cabbage. That looks delicious. Let's try a little of that. Lots of meats. And then I also want to try the yams over here. This looks good. Ooh, look at this plate. My goodness. And then Hawaiian beef stew. That looks so interesting. Let's get that. that mmm okay okay we stopped over at the carving station slash like the American section I guess wow did they have a variety let me show you what we got so on the carving station they had turkey and ham I got some Kahlua pork roasted yam chicken fried steak with gravy macaroni and cheese and then this is a Hawaiian beef stew looks really good Okay, I'm very excited. Now they also had like mashed potatoes, they had broccoli, they had all kinds of sides, but there were so many different meats to try that I just kind of like made a carnivore plate. Besides this amazing mac and cheese, which I'm gonna try right now, because this looks really good. Ooh, that's good mac and cheese. Creamy, buttery. That's great, that would be a great side to go with all your meats here. Now they had chicken fried steak. I do like that it's like a cute little portion of chicken fried steak with some white gravy. So there's the inside of the chicken. Let's just give this a shot. Ooh, I love the gravy. Really peppery. Ooh, that's got great flavor. It's got so many seasonings in the breading and it's fried and it just kind of gives you this like almost like a sausagey flavor. Like it's just very seasoned. That's really, really good. Ooh, I like that. I like the gravy a lot. That's delicious. Uh, let's try some of these carving meats. Let's see. That turkey was like falling apart when he was cutting it, so I'm hoping it's really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That tastes like Thanksgiving turkey, you guys. It's like pink on the edge. That's how you know the brining was like done perfectly if you've got pink turkey on the outside. Mmm. Excellent. Excellent turkey. I really like that. Great flavor. Let's try this ham. I usually like turkey better than ham, but we'll give it a shot. That turkey was delicious. Wow. Mm. I've got Thanksgiving and Christmas right here on the plate. The ham, delicious, perfectly cooked. Turkey, fall apart in your mouth, delicious. And let's try this pork. If you're a fan of like corned beef cabbage, 
it's kind of evoking that for me. The cabbage is giving it that real oniony flavor. This is good. It's not as good as these two, but it's very good. It's soft, fall apart in your mouth. Good. Not as amazing as these, though. I want to try this yam here. A little sweet potato since I had my Thanksgiving meal. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ruby doesn't really like sweet potato, so I'll be eating this whole thing. I love sweet potato. You can taste cinnamon, mm, butter, roasted. A very delicious plate of food right here. The mac and cheese complemented the meats super well, but these meats are really delicious. So I do feel like you'll eat all of these and get your money's worth right there. I really wanna try this stew. This looks very intriguing, a Hawaiian beef stew. I'll just get a little piece of the beef and some of the broth. Mm. Meat's a little chewy for me. The broth tastes exactly like minestrone. So it just kinda of tastes like a beef tomato soup with potatoes. That's good, but it's nothing special. I would say the carving meats and the chicken fried steak, a definite absolute. I love the mac and cheese and the yam. So far, most of this is just like big wins. Nothing's been bad at all. Just like some stuff was a big standout. This turkey is really, really good. So this is all like the sides. I thought I'd come back and try some of these sides. I want some au gratins. It's probably good. Maybe we should get a vegetable in our diet. What do you think? Grilled fish of the day. That could be good, let's try it. That appears to be tilapia, if I was to guess. And then, since we had turkey, I feel like we need to try mashed potatoes and turkey gravy, right? Okay, the grilled fish of the day. I would guess tilapia, if I was to take a guess. That's what I think that is. Old gratin potatoes, baby carrots, and mashed potatoes with turkey gravy. After trying the turkey, I wanted to try some of these sides just to see if maybe you could have a full Thanksgiving meal here if you're coming in November. Uh, let's try the mashed potatoes with turkey gravy. If the gravy is as good as that turkey, come have Thanksgiving here if you're here for Thanksgiving because that turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy would make anyone happy. It's so good. It's so good. That's the best turkey I've had at a buffet so far. Period. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the carrots are great. They steam them absolutely perfectly. So they're not mushy, they start chewy, but all the natural sugar came out in the carrots. Like, I'm, I think I'm just like craving a vegetable after all that meat, but <laughs> the carrots are very, very delicious. Let's try these au gratins, potatoes. They're a little cold because I think they're being neglected. People aren't picking them, which is a shame because the cheese flavor is like so strong. They're really delicious. They just need to be a little warmer. I think that people are kind of ignoring them to eat all the meat. Main Street, I'm getting really full and your food is really good. I believe this is tilapia. We'll see if I can tell when I eat it. The, fl the fish is flaky and fall apart, but I will say after those delicious carving meats, the fish is really not doing it for me. Come and get breakfast and then load up a plate of Thanksgiving and just enjoy it all. I'm getting so full. I will say we've tried almost everything. There were a lot of bone-in meats that we haven't tried yet, but there's also pizza and salad. I'm getting really full, so it might be time for dessert. I'm gonna try the sugar-free banana. That looks good. All right, let's see. Carrot cake, red velvet. That looks like lemon, Oreo. Cheesecake. This looks like pineapple upside down cake. Apple pie. Cherry pie. Oh my goodness. Just get a little of that. Ooh. And then I think we should try the cheesecake and the pineapple upside down cake. I might have. Yeah. I might need some help carrying all this. We're getting so full, but they had such a good selection of desserts and I wanted to try so many. They had pie, there were pastries and Danish and like, it was a lot, but I'm gonna just try these ones because we're getting stuffed. Let's start with the sugar-free first. They had a great selection of sugar-free desserts. There was like sugar-free cheesecakes and cakes, but they had a banana cream and I do love banana cream pie. So let's see how this is with sh no sugar added. Mm. That's really good. 
especially being no sugar added, the pie crust is real flaky and crumbly and you can taste butter in the pie crust. There are bananas in here and they're perfectly ripe and you can taste those, they have good texture. The banana pudding itself has got a lot of vanilla and banana flavor to it and the whipped cream tastes fresh. So this is a really good one, especially for being sh like sugar free. I actually really liked it, it's good. I'm gonna try the cheesecake. Cheesecake's another one of my favorites. That's a good cheesecake. The cream cheese flavor is coming through really strong. And the crust has like a really good like burnt butter flavor in the best way. It's not like that overly sweet cheesecake and it's really, really, really dense. It's like a really thick cheesecake. I like that. I know some people like a more like fluffy cheesecake. This is like a true baked cheesecake. Pineapple upside down. I don't think I've seen a pineapple upside down at a buffet yet. To my knowledge, they actually had a lot of variety of stuff here that I haven't seen at other buffets, so that's really exciting. I like that. This looks crumbly and yummy. Ooh, good texture. What I like about these desserts is that none of them are outrageously sweet. They all have like a really delicate sweetness to them, but they all have really good flavor and good texture. This one's crumbly and light, and then you can really taste the real pineapple. It's not as sour as I was expecting, it's just like a soft kind of yellow cake flavor. Let's try bread pudding. This is not exactly the thing you want to eat when you are had a huge meal because I'm very full, but let's give it a shot. It looks dense and thick. Oh, that's really good. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay. It's got the perfect texture of the bread pudding. I'm almost certain that these are cinnamon rolls like a cinnamon roll bread pudding. I mean, it's like just cinnamon and maple syrup, and there's like raisin flavor. The seasoning on this is absolutely delicious. I can taste the vanilla. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. They were all good. This is incredible. This bread pudding was delicious. And I actually will say, I think the banana, the sugar-free banana, was probably my favorite of these. Overall, Wow, highly recommend Main Street Station's buffet. I totally feel like I got my $20 worth. The turkey was amazing, and Mr. Ruby says chicken fried steak is an absolute must. I thought the breakfast was great, the meats here are amazing. There were other meats that I didn't even try, honestly, we got so, so full. But just overall, a super well-rounded buffet, a great price point, and a really pretty atmosphere to eat. Everything was beautifully presented. I really enjoyed my food here. I think you guys will too. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I wanna see you guys all in my next buffet.